Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for joining me. I am going to do a, a very quick video because I um, don't have much to say. <laughs> I asked Mugo, really? You don't have much to say? I really don't have much to say. Um, I am getting ready for a trip. So I, I can't believe that the time has gone by that quick because I'm like, you know, it, it was like months off and now it's two weeks off. So I'm getting ready for a trip and I just have a whole bunch of different things to do and I'm going to just update you briefly on my upcoming surgery, actually two surgeries, and um, share with you a couple of hair pieces I got from the wig company. And these hair pieces are so cute. I absolutely love them. So anyways, if you're interested, Oh, and I got I got my retin A order. Yeah. <laughs> I was like I was like at the dregs of my retin A. I was squeezing and squeezing and couldn't get anything out and I was starting to panic, but I got it in. So stay tuned. Okay, <laughs> first things first. And I ordered my Retin-A and I used uh, Reliable RX overseas from India and it typically takes a while for it to come in and and I often get so many people asking questions well how why and you know what is the savings and aren't you nervous well a I'm not nervous B the savings is tremendous and uh, see it does take a little bit while a while longer and i have a prescription although i don't need the prescription to buy this so i ended up getting two and i actually got three of each but i i got two for my girlfriend so i got two 0.05 percent of tretinoin and I got um, two for myself, 0.1% gel, and the 0.05% is cream. So I have two of each of these. I haven't, I haven't opened up my 0.5 yet, but I have my, my 0.1% because that's what I'm using. Anyways, I bought six tubes of Retin-A. It cost me, with shipping, um, 60 some odd dollars. There's my receipts in here. I can't really remember with shipping. And yeah, because I got three tubes of each, and I would have probably paid twice the amount of what I paid for all of that for one tube had I gone through any of our local pharmacies, which I didn't do. So I was like, uh, I was like, whoa, you know. Anyway, so I finally got it in. I'm so happy. This will last me a long time, but I was like just totally panic struck because it wasn't coming in. And I'm like, going, oh my gosh, you know, oh my gosh. Anyways, um, one of the things that I also got for my birthday, I'm going to show you really quickly. I have her up here. Is this beautiful wig. Now, I, I wore this wig the other in one of my previous videos but i got this as a gift from two of my my beautiful best friends on youtube and they know how much i love raquel welch and they know how much i love this hair this is this is editor's pick and editor's pick is the one that i wear a lot most of you comment on it when i have it on and it's just a beautiful beautiful piece and this is in my favorite, favorite color, shade of cappuccino. I'm going to actually do a comparison between the one I have and the one I got. But I just, I just wanted to share this with you. I got this. I was so shocked. This is Editor's Pick Elite. Beautiful cap, hand-tied, <laughs> no permatees. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. Anyways, I will, um, I'm going to do a review on that. And thank you so much to my beautiful friends, Marlene fab and glam and my lovely lovely Sheila I always want to say life with Lily um, but it's simply Sheila so I, I got that and I was just I didn't even know what to say it was a birthday present I was like so so amazingly shocked when when I opened that box I had no clue it was coming so I'm going to be doing a video review of that so this isn't you know what I'm going to talk about I want to update you on my my Mohs surgery. I I went to the surgeon. I had my consult. He 
I should have taken a picture because, you know, they do the little dots around it to show you how big it is. And he said, I'm, you know, he definitely wants the plastic surgeon there. So I still have to have a consult with the plastic surgeon because they have to coordinate it. He says he, he doesn't know right until they go in and they take the margins out. But where it's right here where my hand is. And because of where it is, where my finger is, very visible. You know, what I think I'm going to do is, is not take you on the journey with me for the surgery, but actually film as I progress. Because first I thought, nah, you know, who's going to want to see that? It's ugly. But then I said, you know what? So much of what I film is real life crap. <laughs> Stuff that happens, right? And uh, this is sort of the, the creme de creme for me, you know. I mean, to have something like this happen right smack in my face and then have that surgery, I'm not going to hide it. So I thought, you know, maybe too it would also be a good kind of reminder for everyone for sunblock so I'm going to film a little bit of that process instead of hiding from the camera and staying off of YouTube once I have my procedure done I'm going to I'm going to share some of that I'm also having a second surgery which may or may not come before this I've been suffering from an ear infection repeatedly the last two years and I've talked about it before because many years ago I had a burst eardrum and my eardrum burst and it never healed well, apparently, over the course of time, it has gotten worse and worse, and I don't really have an eardrum. So what they want to do is they think they can rebuild it with the cartilage from behind my ear, uh, or they would have to lift it up and go in. Um, grosses me out. So that's my second surgery. That one might take a little bit more of a recovery time. They're both day surgeries. This one would be day surgery. This is probably, I don't know how long. But... Um, so there'll be a little bit more of a recovery time. So you're going to see me <laughs> bandage, bandage. You're going to see, you're going to see me. So the other thing I wanted to share with you, and this is by no means a review of these, of these pieces, but I was contacted by the wig company and I have reviewed many of the wig company, uh, wigs and, you know, pieces before. And so they contacted me on Instagram and they said, you know, the Statements line is coming out with a new release of their ponytails and their buns. And they know that I wear a lot of buns in my hair and stuff like that. So they said, would you like to review them? And I'm not, you know, I'm not a big fan of the ponytails because they usually don't stay in my hair. But, so she explained this new release. It actually has like a very pliable... I don't know, I want to call it a wire, but I'm really not too sure what you call it. But the way it wraps around, it's not elastic. It's not Velcro that comes done. And it's got the little comb that you clip in. But the way it wraps around, it is so, so secure. So I got these. I got two ponies in a 13 inch and two in the 17 inch. Just to compare and show you. And I got them in two different colors. So this is the, the golden wheat, and then I also got it in buttered toast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you what this looks like on my hair in another. I'm almost more excited about this than anything. It's called the clip and twist. Now this is in buttered toast, but clip and twist, I don't know if you can see this. What a, what a cool concept, right? Because usually I have the scrunchies and they have the elastic that stretches out. Well, the clip and twist is just that. It's like a, a um, it almost feels like those pipe cleaners that you can twist around. But you can twist this as tight as you want. And then there's these little clips, little tiny claw clips or whatever you want to call them that clip in. There's three of them, one in the center right there and one in the one in the ends but I, I'll usually when I put on my fake buns I have to twist it around a couple of times because after a while the scrunchy elastic stretches and it doesn't stay in so this is like amazing so as long as this is twistable like this you can put this around 
and it'll stay put. And then you've got the little clips to just clip it in a little bit more. I love, love, love the curls. Heat friendly fibers too. So I was like really amazed at this. And I think this piece, I think I saw it on sale for like $15. I was like, holy camoly. But yeah, so I love that. So they sent me two of those to each of the different lengths of the buns, which I thought was really cool. And then I got two of those really cool braids. Now you've probably seen how these braids, people use them as a headband. So I thought really cool. So I got the, I got the shades they sent me is Butter Toast and Golden Wheat. It's Golden Wheat. Golden Wheat. So I have the two braids, which I have a couple of these. I really, I like them. But to be honest with you, I don't wear a lot of headbands. So, but I got two of them. And then I got the two of the uh, clip and twist buns. I got the blonder shade, which I think might be a little bit too light for me. And then I have the shade in the buttered, the buttered, um, buttered toast, which I really kind of, I really kind of like. So I was like super excited about that. I thought that was really cool. I did film a little bit of a video here and I'm going to superimpose that this is me and, you know, kind of showing you what I got and explaining it a little bit closer. Look at, look at it. And, um, and then I'm going to, if I can, I'm going to superimpose a couple of photos in the tail end of this video so that you can actually see what they look like on me. That rhymes. So you can see what they look like on me. Anyways, um, that's it. Stay tuned for the video next. And uh, also at the very end, some of the pictures with me with these pieces on. Again, these pieces were sent to me complimentary from the wig company. And oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it. I was looking at that wrap and it was like on sale for $15. I mean, how can you go wrong? Spring is coming, summer is coming, and that is where most people will wear their hair up. And um, yeah. Just a great time, you know, great time to have all these beautiful hair accessories. So that's it for me. Short video, I hope. And I'll see you next time. Here I am wearing the curly twist wrap in buttered toast. And when I turn around, I'm going to show you the one in golden wheat. These wraps stayed put. I really, really like them. And you can't beat the price. They're just amazing.